the pure joy that my heart has felt walking in here is like indescribable. And there's someone over there. I look like I'm talking to some books. Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well. So I have some big news and the big news is I'm uploading every week, every Thursday at 3 p.m. EST. That wasn't the big news, but it is some sort of big news. And basically I do have a bigger, bigger news, hence why I have this weird echo at the moment. There's a story behind this, which you'll find out in my next video at 3 p.m. on Thursday next week. So make sure you've turned on notifications on my video or subscribe if you're not already, do all that fancy stuff. But in other big news, I am officially fully vaccinated. I got it. It wasn't even in that arm, that's my dominant arm. Some of you may know that my family and I voluntarily locked down for over a year, we my mum is high risk, so we literally didn't leave, leave our house at all. We didn't go get any food, we didn't go into any shops. I didn't see my boyfriend for 13 and a half months. And at first it was obviously to protect my mum because she's been high risk. And then when she was vaccinated, finally, thankfully, um, we just bought, both jointly decided to wait a couple more months until we would be vaccinated ourselves. So because of that, I have not been into a Michaels in 14 or 15 months because you know it's not the most important thing in the world to be doing during what's going on. But I'm now officially fully vaccinated. I'm so incredibly grateful for the opportunity. Um, and I know how difficult it is if you are still waiting. I know how rough it is waiting, especially if you're doing so much to stay safe, keep your loved ones safe. So if you haven't had yours yet, I'm crossing my fingers to you that you get it very, very soon. So because it is now safer for me to do so, I'm obviously still distancing, masking, staying away from non-vaccinated people, that kind of thing. Um, I thought it would be really fun to go in Michaels for the first time in over a year and basically just show you everything, show you the experience, document it. And yeah, let's get started. And I really hope that you enjoy the video. I'm in Michaels for the first time in a year. The pure joy that my heart has felt walking in here is like indescribable. I'm so freaking excited, I can't even tell you. So I've actually never been in this Michaels before. It's very, very dead, very clean. Let's just look at it. So much stuff. And I'm just gonna kind of casually take you through each aisle. Just make this a nice, fun, laid back kind of video. I'll try to keep the camera steady. Maybe I'll get a cart or a trolley if you're British. Just, uh, everything is so bright and colorful. Like life has just not been colorful for a year. I'm so excited. I've got some wooden pegs. Never thought I'd be excited to see some wooden pegs, but here we are. These are so cute. I don't know what you'd use them for, but they're adorable. Little kids toy craft things, maybe? Got some foam felt. I feel like this is something that Super A Dizzle would have on like the collars of her sassy lady clothes. <laughs> tell you what though, this is a nice plant. I know people have gotten into the crickets recently, so here's a nice shot of that. A ton of vinyl, it's buy one get one half off if anyone's wanting to get some vinyl right now. The carts are so small, I don't understand. Also, I'll be sanitizing my camera when I get home because gross. Ooh, I've got a tie-dye kit. And I remember when I tried tie-dye before, didn't go well, did it? I feel like I should give tie-dyeing another chance because I feel like it could be really fun if I did it correctly. We have a lot of shirt options here you can pick from for me to destroy. We've got a bunch of fabric markers here. If anyone's interested, this is the Mariah Elizabeth area. Basically all fabric, paint and dye. And then we have like the pens. I can't imagine pens work that well though. Has anyone used pens for fabric before that have actually worked well? Because I feel like they just would, they would be crap. Then again, what do I know? I can't even tie dye correctly. What's the point of this? Why would you want scented fabric markers? Half open box of Marvel felt characters. Interesting. We have Star Wars felt too. How cute is that? I'm gonna get that. I think that would be really fun. So I love organizing my art supplies. I'm not very good at keeping it organized as I've said many times before but this aisle is so good. I have one of these Lexington rollable carts. These things are amazing. Not sponsored by Michaels although I have worked with them before about this cart but 
These are amazing. They're so good for organizing literally everything. I also really love these boxes. They're supposed to be for scrapbook paper, but honestly, you can use them for pretty much anything. I use them for a lot of my art prints and stuff because they keep them kind of safe contained and they're only $5.99, which I personally think is a great deal. We have like the fancy, super duper fancy, kind of one if you have all these fabrics and washi tapes and stuff. I just use the basic ones like this. They have a lot of modular storage as well, which is very handy. I really like this mobile workstation too. You can like put your Cricut in it and use it. That's really cool. And you could store like your, your vinyls and stuff. This thing would be awesome for keeping small prints as well. Like it's supposed to be a photo keeper, but you could honestly keep a lot of your smaller prints or stickers in here separately if that's the type of thing you need. And it's 40% off. Ooh, jewelry storage. Why would you keep jewelry in that? That's odd. Oh, I see. It's for like chains and stuff. So you can keep those in that. That makes sense. for the environment. Let's not buy that. This is awesome. So, oh, you can't even see what I'm showing you. It's a tumbler turner. So if you're like decorating a cup or you're using resin or something, this will turn it so that you don't have to worry about like messing up the sides. I could use this when I do like those Starbucks cups that I paint. This could be quite handy actually. They have so much washi tape. This is something I'm severely lacking in, washi tape. Like, I really think that I should get some, but there's so many options that I'm kind of, <laughs> I don't know which one to get now. They have some, oh, these are cute. Got some cute little wooden animals there. These are $20, but you'd get like 40% off of that. Plus there's so many in there. You know, something that's very noticeable in Michaels, there's a lot of people in here. Well, not a lot, there's not a lot of people in here, but everyone I've seen are wearing masks and correctly, not like on their chins. So I, for one, really appreciate that. I'm literally spending 10 minutes trying to decide what washi tape to use. I think I'll go with that one. It's quite pretty. It's some, like, dark floral. I probably look like a crazy person, like I'm talking to myself if someone looks down the aisle. But does anyone buy themselves journals like this, for example? You've got all, like, your dates, and they're all so pretty, so nice, all filled out and stuff buy them and then never fill them in because I love buying things like this. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna finally get organized with my time. And then I just don't, there's someone over there. I look like I'm talking to some books. Great. Oh, but it's, <gasps> this one says Disney princess on it. Oh, it's so nice, but I'm not, I'm not gonna use it, am I? I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use it, but I want it because it's got Disney on it and it's cute and it's like organized. How much is it? Maybe I should look at the price first and then, oh, it's 30% off though. So like, would I be stupid not to buy it, you know? I'm gonna buy it and I probably won't fill it out, but I'm gonna buy it anyway. Do I need a plant? I think it wants to come home with me. I don't need a tree, but I want it. Oh, you know how I said about people wearing masks? There's, a, there's an old guy over there not wearing one, just like, he doesn't care. Okay, this paint right here, this plaid folk art chalk paint is freaking, this is my favorite. I love this shade. It dries like such a beautiful matte shade. It's really, really pretty. They have some beautiful colors here as well. That's, that's not beautiful, that's disgusting. <laughs> this one though is beautiful like baby pink. We have to be a bunch of really nice colors here. This one, oh, look at that one. That's nice. This is cool. I don't know if I believe that, but that looks really cool. They also have a huge selection of these these cheaper paints too. These are really nice. Folk art are my favorite like cheap, 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 cheap acrylic paints. Like they're very, very nice. They work great. They have like a whole, like these are all by plaid, I believe, the folk art, and then you've got more folk art. <laughs> like there's literally so many for every single thing that you possibly need. And they're only, for example, in here, they're like 169 each. So, you know, you get a good deal on these. They are craft paints, they're not specifically for like paintings, but they work fine for paintings, that's all I've ever used. I started to pick up my camera then, and one of the employees as I did it looked me like dead in the eyes, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at all the canvases, they have almost as many as I do. I really want to do some larger scale paintings. 
the ultimate collection of Sharpies. That's interesting. There is an employee down my favorite aisle, unfortunately. So these have changed since I've last seen them. The acrylic basics tubes. I love this paint, but they've, com they've completely changed since I've last been in here to see them. They used to look like this. They still sell the old one, but this is obviously like the new style. Something I do want to try is actually thick temper, temper paint. What's it called? The thick paint. I really want to try doing that. It's like a medium you mix with your acrylic paint that makes it thick. It's so nice. I really want to find some. I believe it's this, the super heavy gel. I believe that's what it is. You mix it with your acrylic paints and it thickens it. Thickens it so it's like nice and... Mm, like whip, whipped looking and nice. So if you've not been in Michael's for a while and you miss it, then I'll just give you a nice little little tour of it because it was a long time for me. There's someone over there. This is so awkward. Please don't look this way. Mm, okay. If you're not familiar with Michael's, they have like all of the levels. So if you're like a new artist, level one, you've got your paints for that. You've got the brushes and you have like level two artists, the paints and the brushes. And then you have like level three professional, the brushes and the paints. There doesn't appear to be a clearance section today, but that's fine. Artist Loft paint is amazing. I hands down love this stuff. This is what I use for all of my paint murals on all of my walls. So if you are looking for a, a cheaper, decent paint, I would say Artist Loft is very good for that. You can also buy the sets like this. Nice, a complete painting kit. Ooh, okay, that comes with everything you need. Very cool. Hey, that's pretty nice. I don't know how long it would last you, but that is a nice little starter set. What is this? Oh, it comes Oh, it comes in like those, those horrible like children's paint containers you used to get as a kid that didn't do anything at all. I kind of want to try that. I'm guessing it's just the regular paint they've put in there, but these containers always put me off because you always think, oh, they're bad because they're, they're not pigmented, but I'm guessing it's just regular like, Liquitex paint. Oh, I don't recognize these brushes. Oh, no, I do. They're Cotman. They're Cotman. If you're looking for a decent brush set, Stay tuned, that's all I'm gonna say. All of our notebooks and sketchbooks and stuff down this aisle. Awesome. I'm really not seeing anything new in the past year. I didn't really know if I expected to, but this all looks pretty similar to how it was before. Let me know in the comments, by the way, which kind of paper is your favorite because I kind of switch between a bunch of different ones when I'm painting. <gasps> Actually, I just realized I need, to, I need like a palette and I love painting on wood. A lot of you know this, but I've run out, so let's go and get some. It's a bright container. That's adorable. I can't find any wood panels. Like, that's normally in the canvases aisle, but I haven't seen them yet. So maybe I just missed them. Ooh, palettes. Okay, would I be better just getting some like palette paper maybe? Okay, so for anyone who's wondered in the past, the wood that I like to buy for painting on are these basswood country rounds. These are amazing for painting on and also wood burning, but I just use them for painting personally. But I've just noticed they have this, which is like a nice shape. And I feel like it would look quite nice. I'm gonna buy that. They also have a giant one. I don't know if I need it, but I kind of like that. I really want to paint a box. I don't know why, but I feel like it would be fun to just like paint a box. And there's a pirate ship up there. I mean, I feel like this is something that kids would love to paint on and then they'd probably just like throw it out in like a year. But it's cute. It's nicely put together. I'm sorry if my, if my bangs are annoying anyone. They're annoying me as well. I just don't want to touch them because my hands feel gross. Okay, we have some flat panels here. I really love to paint on these. These are just like very, very thin. Um, but they're really nice to paint on. Oh wow, they have really big ones. <gasps> oh wow, this is a nice size. I quite like that. So we've got all the Copic markers here. I know some Michaels tend to like lock them away and some don't, but this Michaels has tons of them. I've never actually seen this many Copics in a Michaels before. There's so many, that's so cool. They also sell Poscas in here now. If anyone didn't know that, they sell Posca markers, which is really awesome. By the way, Tombow has these Michaels exclusive sets now, if anyone likes these kind of sets. Love a good Micron set. Actually, I feel like I need some more Microns, so I might get some. This set has a bunch of different like nibs, which I like. I really like to draw my bears with these. I'm not that I've done that for a very long time, but I do like these sets. Ooh, we've got some clearance. Ooh, 
Paper make ink joy. <gasps> they're $10. That is a bargain. I don't need any though, but they're a bargain. By the way, this is where I got my little pencil case from. This is also <laughs> adorable. And it's mint, that's really cute. What are these? Light pastel Frixion highlight and eraser. Oh, I don't need that. Colored pencils, interesting. I don't think I would like them, but they're on clearance. Look at this, I've just found Copic Multiliner set, $10. So to avoid the embarrassment of getting someone to get the Copic markers out for me, I've just noticed these. They're actually $15 down from 35. These are Stettler pigment liners. I'm not sure how good they are, but they look like they might be nice. And they're literally more than half off. So it might be worth giving it a go. <gasps> oh, I need to get these. I'm gonna get some of these. They have like a huge set of these woodless colored pencils and they're really, really cheap. They also have, these are on clearance too. There's a lot of clearance here. These are 20 down from 50. It's an amazing deal. Bring a nice collection here. I get really awkward. I mean, please keep looking down the aisle and I'm just talking to myself. I'm so embarrassed. Imagine if someone just saw me filming my thumbnail, that'd be so embarrassing. The employees are still down my favorite aisle where the paint is and I need to go soon. So I'm just gonna like maybe just walk and just show you slightly what's down there. But... Mixed media art boards, interesting. They're not very big though. I kind of, I wanna start painting in larger scale than what I currently do. So I might try just getting some larger boards. Look how amazing these paint by numbers kits are. Like literally so beautiful. I kind of want to try making one, but they take a long time and I'm not sure if I would do it properly or just do it in my own way. They have a bunch of Van Gogh, Van Gogh ones here. Very nice. Still not found the wood panels though. have acquired the goods. So I didn't buy a humongous amount of things. I did buy a handful of stuff, um, but I didn't go overboard this time. But I figured I would show you everything that I did buy. Starting off with the washi tape that took me 20 minutes to figure out what I wanted. So I got this washi tape. This is like dark green and gold. I just thought it was really, really pretty to be honest. And I just don't have any. So I figured that I would buy some. I did in fact buy the Disney journal. But basically it's just a little diary. Really tangle themed on the first few pages. That's so cute. I think there's like, they've got Brave, they have just a whole bunch of different Disney. I mean, it's kind of gimmicky because, you know, it's mostly just a regular diary with some Disney thrown in there, but I thought it was cute. Next up, this is for my friend's birthday in June. So if you're watching for some reason, stop, pause the video and don't look. I got this little Simba from The Lion King because it's like her favorite Disney, is it her favorite Disney movie? It's one of her favorite Disney movies. Um, she just loves Simba and it's a DIY one, which Michaels does a lot of, it was on clearance. Next, I got these woodless colored pencils. There are 24 in here. These are by Koenor. I really like woodless colored pencils pencils and these were really cheap they were like ten dollars down from I think 25 or 30 something like that they were like on a heavy discount and I just figured that hey they're expensive and now they're cheap maybe they were good maybe they're terrible maybe that's why they're on clearance so I did in fact buy some matte gel um, this is supposed to make your acrylic paint thicker this apparently increases viscosity texture and transparency reduces gloss extends color retains marks I didn't want a gloss but then again, I've not used thick paint before to know if it looks better with a gloss. So I just went with matte because I just, I prefer matte pretty much everything. Got a plank of wood. Fascinating stuff. It is ripped open. I just really like painting on wood. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I've not tried anything this kind of rectangular shape before. So I just bought a plank of wood basically. Fine liners, as you can see, these were by Stettler again. Um, and they were very heavily discounted. And again, I don't know if it's because they're bad 
or if it's just because they are changing the packaging, maybe that's why, but they were very expensive and now they were much less expensive for like $10, so good stuff. So this paint, I actually have a few colors of this already. I plan to do a whole video on it. It's actually brand new. This is kind of paint that I've never seen before. It's called So Flat by Golden Acrylics. I got these three shades here. Um, again, I've not really seen it, but I mean, they, they have matte paint, but like this is a different kind of matte paint by Golden. And I figured that I would make a whole video out of it. I didn't have these three colors already, so I figured that I'd pick them up in the store. They also sell out very quickly because they're new, so I was very happy to get some of those. I got some panels, canvas panels in a value pack. These were, I forget how much they were, but I got a 14 by eight size. And last but not least, I did in fact buy the half-opened Marvel felt kit. I just figured it would be fun. I don't, I'm not very good at sewing. I can, I can sew, but not that well. So I figured it would be quite a fun thing to do. So yeah, that's everything that I bought today. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you did, or if you do enjoy these art style vlogs. Um, I've always really, really enjoyed going to art stores and vlogging them. And I know a lot of my audience have as well. But yes, thank you so incredibly much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video, which is a big one. Again, Thursday at 3 p.m. EST next week. Don't miss it. So yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Goodbye.